We are gathered here to fill you with fear and give you a treat for your ears as we invade your mind with our scary rhymes and some tales that can be gory. As you bear witness and sit here and listen to our poetic horror stories. This is my ASMR horror story. Let me set up the picture of how this unfolded. One day, I was in my studio. It's a nice, quiet space. And I made sure I had everything and nothing was out of place. To really get in the mood. I would light some candles to help brighten up the room. So I had my mic ready at hand close to me in its stand. I always try to make my voice smooth, soft, gentle, and clear to make sure you pick up every sound in your ear. Now that my prep was almost done, this is where the horror starts and my anguish had begun. I turned on my mic to testing. test my voice. One, two, three. Testing. <clears throat> Can I hear me? It sounded okay, but I knew I wasn't sounding my best. The night before, I don't think I got enough rest. So, I popped in a cough drop to help with my voice. But it went too far back in my throat, and I began to cough. I couldn't catch my breath. And I was starting to wheeze. I was home, all alone. There was no one around to help me. I started tapping and scratching on my desk. I was trying to do everything I could to think of to catch my breath. I keep trying to exhale. But the cough drop was in there good, and I couldn't get it to exhale. When it started moving down my throat a little bit, I thought to myself, no, not like this. This can't be it. But I didn't give up. I was fighting for air. I wasn't going out like this. It won't be fair. So I got up quickly from my chair. I looked for something I could use that could help me force the wind out to clear my windpipe. Something, anything to make this all right. I start to feel faint and I knew I had to be turning blue. I had to hurry or I would be through. That's when I got a bright idea. To ram my stomach on the side of my chair. I was hoping this won't fail. So that is just what I did. The cough drop flew out, hit the floor, and skid. But the thing that is weird? I recorded the whole incident. The audio was clear. It was crazy. It was the best work I had done over this whole year. So I uploaded my trauma for clicks and views. It was viewed a million times on YouTube. Who knew the sounds of my pending death would be my most popular video? But I never want to go back through that scenario. <laughs> 